This video explains how to apply the mean function of the NumPy library in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step, we need to import the NumPy library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example array, as you can see in the second code box. So after running these lines of code, a new array called myArray has been created. And this array contains the values 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the mean value of all the elements in this array. Then we can apply the mean function of the NumPy library, as you can see in the third line of code. So in this line of code, I'm applying this mean function to our array object called myArray. And then you can see that the mean value of all the values in our array is equal to 3.5. Now we can also apply the mean function to calculate the mean values of the array columns, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, we are specifying the axis argument to be equal to zero. And then if you run this line of code, you can see below that a new output is returned, which shows the mean value for each of the columns in our array. So for instance, the mean of one and four is 2.5 and the mean of two and five is 3.5. Now we can also calculate the mean of the rows of our array, as you can see in the last line of code. So in this case, I'm specifying the axis argument to be equal to one. And then you can see that the output shows the mean values two and five. So the mean value of the first row in our array is equal to two, and the mean value of the second row is equal to five. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.